The following is a presentation of Tuning Into Sci-Fi TV, the viewer's guide to genre television. I won't hide anymore. I will live the life I choose. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Fay Files. I'm Kevin Batchelder, and this is our episode number 24. And this is a DragonCon 2015 Lost Girl Events update. Appreciate you checking in on us, folks. Longtime listeners know we've done a couple of other DragonCon related uh, podcasts over the last month, but uh, for any of you that are regular attendees at DragonCon, you know it is always a fluid situation the schedule, the events, the guests. So we do have some updated information that's come out since I did a quick update in there at the end of July. And uh, also even some additional information since we did a great uh, interview with Carol Malcolm, who's the director of the DragonCon Urban Fantasy track that uh, covers Lost Girl and many other great events they'll be doing. So I figured I'd wrap everything up in one quick podcast, uh, kind of put it together so you folks had kind of that as a go-to point. And uh, the show notes, I'll have lots of links. I'll mention some of these here in this podcast. So uh, if you are new or you are looking to kind of get all of it in one place, if you go to thefayfiles.com, uh, there at the top of the page, uh, in the list of blog posts, I should say, when you go to that uh, link, uh, should be the link for this episode number 24. Uh, take a look at that one, and we'll have lots of information there for you. Now, a couple of very important things to kick things off with. This episode is being recorded on August the 17th, and as with all things Dragon Con, both guests and events, the times for events and so forth, everything is tentative. Tentative is the word of the day <laughs> when it comes to Dragon Con. So by all means, even after listening to this, you're going to want to be checking out what's going on in the uh, fan communities leading up to Con, keeping an eye on the uh, Urban Fantasy uh, Facebook page. That is the best source for info. And certainly, once you're at Con, you're going to be wanting to check out the schedule, whether it's in the smartphone app. Uh, the printed schedule or the updates. Daily Dragon is the name of a newsletter that comes out every day that updates you because sometimes events change, get canceled, room changes, other things can happen, folks. The lovely nature of Dragon Con, I'm sure you folks listening because you're Lost Girl fans, but the lovely thing about Dragon Con, having gone now myself for over 10 years, is over 400 celebrity guests, 35 different programming tracks, 65,000 or so attendees, Five official hotels where these things take place. It is a massive event, and it is an awesome event. But you do need to be flexible in a way that things can change. So get that out there at the front. So let's wrap up some of the things we do know as of this point. Again, August 17th. The guests, Lost Girl guests, that are scheduled to attend. We have Anna Silk, Ksenia Solo, Rachel Scarston, Zoe Palmer, Chris Holden-Reed, and Paul Amos. Awesome set of folks. Pretty amazing there. Uh, as schedules stand right now, there is on the schedule a cast Q&A panel listed for every day during con, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Now, not all of those guests will be at all of those events. Check the details, certainly on the Urban Fantasy Facebook page and what will be in the program as well. Uh, so again, fluid situation, keep that in mind. Now, along with those wonderful events for the Q&As, that's what we all love to go hear the cast. Uh, those will be taking place, as I said, the exact times. Uh, I'm going to recommend you check out the uh, Urban Fantasy track page there on Facebook or the official uh, schedule when it comes out. Uh, but that'll be a lot of fun. We'll all be, you know, looking forward to uh, getting to those and, and meeting some other fans. Uh, along with that, that involves the celebrities. There is also going to be a fan discussion panel. Dragon Con, for those of you who aren't aware, it is well known as being a fan-run convention, fan-focused. We love to talk about our shows and things we're passionate about. So in Carol's Urban Fantasy track, there will be a Lost Girl fan discussion panel. That is currently scheduled for Saturday afternoon at 2.30 p.m. There will be several fans uh, leading a discussion about the show and the characters and things like that. Uh, if schedules hold. Uh, I am one of the panelists, along with several other faces and uh, voices you'll probably recognize, folks. So look forward to that. We're going to have a great time. We also were able to recently set up an official fan meetup, just more of a casual meet and greet. Come and hang out with your fans. No real presentation per se, just a chance to meet up. Uh, maybe some of the folks you talk to online, on Twitter or Facebook, and maybe plan out uh, hanging out together at Con. Now that is scheduled for Saturday morning at 11.30 a.m. And I should be there hopefully helping to facilitate that as well. So that should be great fun there. Again, should also be listed in the official program. 
uh, and we're hoping to have many of the Lost Girl cosplayers there. Uh, Stephanie, a, a face she'll very much recognize, does a great job on all her cosplays, but certainly some Lost Girl ones also. I know Laurie, Danny, there's several other folks, hoping that many of them can make it there. Uh, we've done that in the past, and it's a lot of fun, not only to meet them, see the great work they do in their cosplay, get some photos. Again, just more fans to hang out and meet with, so that's a lot of fun. And also the Drinks at the Doll ladies, Chris and Stephanie and Annie, are going to be doing a live recording of their podcast on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. in the podcasting track. That should also be listed in the official schedule as well. It could be another fun event there. There will certainly be autographs and celebrity photo ops with all of those folks, all of the folks from the show. So details available out there for those as well. So I'm going to list several resources that will be in the links uh, at the show notes that I mentioned a little earlier. Go over them real quickly here just to give you an update in case you just jumped in or you're looking to kind of get it all in one place. Again, probably the best place to go for official information is going to be the Dragon Con Urban Fantasy Tracks Facebook page. And this is visible even if you're not someone who has a Facebook account or Facebook isn't your thing. You can still view this page without having to log in. If you go to facebook.com slash DC Urban Fantasy, all one word there. And the link again will be in the show notes at thefayfiles.com. That is a place that probably will be updated the quickest and have the most up-to-date info. I know right now at the top of that page is pinned a post listing the current tentative schedule, times, panelists for any of the fan panels and other events. Carol's doing lots of great stuff for many other shows and books, and certainly all the Lost Girl events are there as well. There's also the Urban Fantasy Twitter account. Maybe not updated as often, but it is an official source. So certainly you can take a look at that at twitter.com slash urbanfantasydc. So keep an eye on that one, too. If you're someone on uh, Twitter, you want to take a look there. I think the pin post there also links over to the schedule as well in case you're just jumping in. Also, some other fan-based info that can be very helpful for you, especially if you're brand new to Con. I have a link to an introduction that I did to Dragon Con a couple of years ago. Uh, I think 2013, about 10 minutes long, fairly brief, but it gives you an overview of what the Con kind of is. Uh, so especially if you're brand new, I think you'll find that to be very helpful. Link in the show notes to that one. Also, recently, I did a very fun uh, show with the lovely ladies from the Drinks at the Doll podcast. And if you're not aware of that podcast, drinksatthedoll.com, run over and subscribe now. Annie and Chris and Stephanie do a great job covering the show, uh, and you'll certainly want to be listening to that coming up to the last set of episodes if you haven't yet, and also uh, lots of other great info there. But we got together and did a live Google Hangout where we talked about the convention and those events, the Q&As, and offered some tips, suggestions, ideas, details, uh, as I said, I've been to Con 10 plus years. Those ladies have been for a few as well. They've attended some other conventions. So if you're new to the convention scene or Dragon Con, I think you'll find a lot of helpful info there. It's available in both audio form as a podcast and video form on YouTube. Uh, so take a look, listen to that. It's about an hour and a half long. I think you'll find it very helpful. Also, I'll link to the interview that I did with Carol Malcolm, the director of the Urban Fantasy Track a few weeks ago. Again, talking about a lot of her events and naturally the Lost Girl ones. Carol works very hard, as do all her volunteers and all the volunteers at Con. As I mentioned earlier, Dragon Con is a fan-run convention. You've got, I think, at this point, close to 2,000 volunteers that are helping to make it happen. This is not a big corporate event, folks. People are involved in this because they love shows and topics and want to support the other fans. So hopefully you get a chance to really see a good part of that. Please, you know, thank the folks that you see with the volunteer badge. They're working pretty hard. So check out that interview with Carol. Also, uh, the folks over at the Drinks of the Doll uh, did a great uh, recap podcast last year after 2014 Dragon Con. Uh, I joined them for that. You know, we talked about how the events went, uh, what we did, how it all kind of played out for us. So if you want to kind of hear from someone who was there and how we did it and what we did <laughs> and some of our reactions, there's also a wonderful photo gallery at the link uh, there for that podcast from some of the cosplayers and their fans that were there. So again, you can kind of see what happened in 2014. So check that one out too. I think you'll appreciate it. And again, if you're brand new to con, I oversee the Dragon Con newbies events that take place at Dragon Con. The day before con starts on Thursday, we do some walking tours again, because we've got five official hotels. One of the biggest challenges for folks who are new to Dragon Con can just be getting an idea of the layout and where everything is. So if you're into con, in at con early enough, on Thursday afternoon, we're doing some walking tours. I think the tours will last approximately 20 minutes each. Uh, we have several tour guides doing those. But uh, we also do Q&A panels uh, late on Thursday and early on Friday to help folks get acclimated. And we have a very busy and popular Facebook group. If you're on Facebook, over 1,800 members 
of folks, many that are new and many that are experienced, so you can come in and ask any questions about the con. You can get lots of details on all those events and other resources for folks who are new if you go to dragonconnewbies.org. So definitely check that out. Certainly, if you're someone who needs a quick question answered, don't hesitate to reach out to me on Twitter. Uh, I'll put my link in the, as I said, show notes, but it's K-B-A-C-H-E-L-D-E-R. You can find me on Twitter. Uh, let me know if I can help you out with something related, Con. I'd be glad to. And finally, also tip of the hat to Cindy B on Twitter. Many of you know her. You can find her on Twitter at Cindy B1017. She is very talented creating images, Lost Girl cast members and such. Uh, so if you're someone you want to be able to have maybe a, a photo for your desktop or you just want to look through a stream of some wonderful stuff related to Lost Girl, Cindy does a great job with her stuff. The photo that I have on this blog post uh, is one that she created showing all the cast members, the Dragon Con logo, uh, the city line of Atlanta. It's a beautiful image. So I got it on my computer desktop and will all the way up to Con and I'm sure even afterwards. So check it out. Lots of good stuff there. Just an indication of uh, how great the fandom is. So hope to get to see you at the con. Please, by all means, if you can come to, especially any of those fan events, I know almost all of you, if you're listening and coming to con, will be at the cast q and But if you can come, please support the fan events that we're doing, the, the uh, meet and greet and also the fan discussion panel. You know, the wonderful thing about con is we discuss shows long after they're off the air in different tracks, but that's only if there's enough fan interest. So certainly the con looks to see what events are well attended uh, when it comes to planning for the future. So if you come to those Lost Girl uh, events, both the cast ones and also the fan ones, it can show the support for the show to even see some potential uh, events occurring in the years to come when the show is no longer on the air, as we all know. All right. So hopefully you folks found that helpful. By all means, reach out if there's anything I can do. Looking forward to seeing and meeting many of you at Com. We have a great time every year. Really excited and looking forward to it. So I hope you all take care. We offer several different ways for you to get in touch with us here at The Fay Files. You can come by our website at thefayfiles.com, which lists all of our blog posts. You can also send us an email directly at feedback at tuningintosci-fi-tv.com. You can leave us a voicemail at 206-202-4182. You can find us on Twitter at The Fay Files, or on Facebook at facebook.com slash tuning into sci-fi TV. Listen to Tuning Into Sci-Fi TV on Stitcher Radio On Demand. Download the free app today at stitcher.com. You've been listening to The Fay Files, presented by Tuning Into Sci-Fi TV, episode 24, recorded August 17th, 2015.